Hello everyone, this is Suri Rala. Let's go on an adventure with more niche. Uh, in the last episode, uh, poor Adam, we followed his journey as he was swept up when he was just a child by a predatory bluebird. And he managed to luckily escape only to be dropped on islands far away from his own home where he had to learn to grow, to forage, to survive. And as he started to travel, uh, to find his new island, he met this lovely little nicheling by the name of Eve, and they quickly were smitten with each other, and they decided to start a tribe of their own, a tribe that will a be a traveling tribe, to wander to the distant, faraway lands north, where to find the island fabled with Adam's stories. And so, we start our Nicheling family as they decide to wander into the Unknown Islands. Adam at the head of the family, Eve up next to him, and their three sons, Cain, Abel, and the very cute little David. I didn't quite make it yet to the to the star platform to the flower platform. The day passes. Abel has grown into an adult. And David as Adam's little heir follows along as he has inherited the the home star immunity gene. And so, with a touch of the rock, let's travel on to the next big grassy port. Across the sea, onto the rocks. Oh, and here we travel on to a little, a little grassy plain. Tiny, but just big enough for a family of nichelings to settle. Uh, there is no northern port on this one, but... Adam insists that if we can't go north, then we must go to the right, where... Keep traveling to the right until we see more islands with northern ports. We must keep going north. That is the thing to remember if you decide to succeed me in traveling. Keep going north until you see an island with trees, red trees that encompass them like umbrellas, and all sorts of creatures that smell like me <laughs> with the Homestar immunity. Okay, but we've stepped onto the next island, so let's hop on over. Oh, and we've already found one permanent nest. There's a berry bush, and nothing else really to report ahead, so we just gotta forge forward, I guess. And Eve immediately claims the nest. <laughs> and out to having their next child. And she, <laughs> she digs the ground under him for a root, but he doesn't mind that. He, he loves his, his mate's many skills, and she is very skilled at finding those food roots, as well as gathering their various berries, and their sons have inherited that skill as well. Cain, uh, being the explorer he is, will, uh, will grab everyone's... will we'll clear the way, grab the grasses. Uh, little David will toddle along and help. Abel happens to spot something in the water, which he can crack open a little, a little muscle for food. And he grabs the grass along the way. And so let's pass the day and see what Eve's new baby will be like on this new island. Oh, it's a little girl! We finally have a little girl! And she's also got the, the black fur, just like her older brother. <coughs> and she's got A and G immunity. Okay, so no star immunity. And she, yeah. just checking to see if she could be a mate for her, any one of her brothers. She can't. Not, not yet, but uh, there, there will come a time where we may have to uh, keep it in the family, as it were. Okay, so Eve hops over, uh, 
meets with Adam again, and while she waits for the nest to be occupied, she goes up and lights up more of the surroundings, see if she can't find any more berry bushes. There's a mole nearby. There are more berry bushes. I love it. So, moles are tricky to hunt. Whenever they're up, they're, they always move in a, a clockwise direction around the map, so you have to be behind them when you want to catch them. Boom! And if you let them see you, they duck into their hole for a long time, so you gotta be cautious. Adam hops over to help collect that food. And clears away the grass here. Oh! <laughs> I almost forgot about Abel here in this grassy area. So he uncovers another berry bush and harvests the berries, so we gotta keep our food supplies high. That's a priority. Let's pass the day. So our little lady has the ability to move out of the nest. And, uh, Coco, that's very cute. But let's change her name. Let's see. Let's change her name to Lilith, because uh, that's another uh, name that is uh, associated in some versions of the creation myth. Uh, she's the name of presumably the, the first woman before Eve, but she was kicked out of Eden for for uh, certain reasons. You can probably look it up yourself. I'm not going to go into it, but yeah, just more names that uh, that come to me. And Lilith, is this stunning little girl. Look at those beautiful brownish red markings, the stripes. Lilith now toddles out. And Mama now reclaims the nest. And she can dig a root right under her nair. <laughs> Always gotta find those roots. And Abel finds himself between two berry bushes so he can harvest to his heart's content. Adam will keep on exploring the grasses and uncovering lots of things. Oh, there's a mole that can be caught by somebody over here. You gotta also be careful to keep out of the mole's line of sight when he turns, because if he... Because he can still spot you sometimes, and it's real tricky. And so David is just going to help clear the way for his family. keep discovering things. There's a nice acorn tree up here that uh, they can also use for food, but they also gotta go over here and clear the grasses because this is the next port they have to go on, and this time it can house ten nichelings, so I like to get about up to there before I travel on. And uh, I like to keep the tribes small, like at about 15-20 animals, because <clears throat> Not the most, because I've seen <laughs> players who play this game with a lot of nichelings, and it can probably be very difficult to uh, keep track of who's who, if, especially if you want to focus on any, any one family for a story. But I like to keep mine a small traveling family, and it usually works to go quickly through the islands. So let's pass the day and see who we get now. Oh, it's another little sun! And this time he's got B and Star. So, yeah, he's actually, he can, he's compatible with Lilith, or can be later. And, uh, uh he's a very cute little fella, doesn't have any markings. But then there's always a chance he won't have any markings. Oh, and this time he also has the, the digger's paw inherited from his mama. So, while she hop 
drops off the nest to dig more roots. And, and wander around. I'm going to name this sun. Uh, let's see. <laughs> now that I have it in my head, I can probably name the little the little star boys uh, after kings. <laughs> so he will be named. Uh, you'll have to forgive me for any slowness in in, uh, in typing out the names. Uh, I'm having to use my touch screen computer keyboard because. Is that how you spell it? Wise King Solomon? Eh, I'm gonna leave it like that just in case. But I'm having to use my touchscreen keyboard because um, my old PC doesn't seem to want to recognize my keyboard drivers anymore, so <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm waiting for a new PC to arrive. But for right now, I'm gonna be able to play niche on, on, on my older computer still, which is why you may see a bit of a drop in the uh, quality because I'm also playing it on an older computer and I had to turn the, turn the settings down quite quite far in order to run this one but hopefully if I can find out what the problem is with, with niche not working on my laptop which is more for gaming then I can then I can give you guys a better performance okay so yeah while everyone rests. My family starts to wander off into the grasses. Oh, and they find a permanent, another permanent nest over here. So that'll be useful. And Kane is going to go ahead and clear these grasses. Hmm. And alright. Any dangers to be hidden in the grass? This, is, this little island is also where you can find predators that pop up every so often, like, uh, bear hyenas. Uh, I don't think any of the bluebirds, uh, that fly overhead waiting to snatch baby nichelings are up here, here yet, but, uh, we'll see. So we pass the day. It's another lovely day. We have a mole that popped up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Eve can already catch him. And she does. Meanwhile, little Solomon toddles out of the nest as Lilith watches over him. And uh, also, um, she'll probably hop over here and help her older brother with gathering the berries, but she gets too tired before she gets there, so he's like, it's okay, I can do the work by myself, you just relax. And and a mini set to having their next baby which will allow them to have six children now. And these two, Cain and David, set about to moving the grasses. David's already proving to be a capable new leader. Always on the initiative. already we're making this island into a lovely little camp for our nichelings, so let's restart the day again. And see how long Adam and Eve have to live. Yeah, Adam's getting near the end of his lifespan now. He always has... Oh, usually Eve has a day on him, but this time they're equal. So they have three days left to have more babies. So I think Eve can move up to this nest. <laughs> There's another mole up here, I almost... I almost missed it. I can't move up next to it now, though. I've gotta wait for a turn. So... Abel's going to gather berries. Also, Lilith is going to get... Oh yeah, that's right, she's not home storming immunity. What am I thinking? The new baby has home immunity. It's Solomon that needs... 
Yeah, he's another another heir if Abel can, if David here can't uh, <coughs> can't have little babies of his own. I try not to uh, inbreed unless I really need to, but of course uh, anyone with different immunities to each other can have healthy babies. All right, so how's that mole? Okay, Adam can go up and grab that. He's a good hunter as he is a gatherer, he finds. And Abel can grab from these berry bushes and just grab more grass. And little Solomon, now that he can help dig, shall hop over here and he'll dig up these roots on the next turn. If I don't think they'll disappear. Um, and Lilith will come over here and Ooh, find another berry bush. David will gather from these and grab this grass and hop over here. And Cain will just help move things along, clear the way to the next ports. Pass the day. And we have another little sun. <laughs> here. And a little, little dark for a baby boy. With B and G immunity. I hope we have one more little female. Some, at some point. Otherwise we might be going to have any errors. We might need to find wild nichelings for him. And that's usually hard to do. You usually wait for them to come to you, or you try calling out for them if you can find a tree stump to do that. But anyway, Adam, in his old age, seeing his children grow happy and healthy, is finding that maybe he will never find his home island again after all. And so he is content to stay and care for his love, his lovely family his lovely mate, while regaling them of the stories of his past. But it's his children that have the, the determination now. They are going to find the home island by any means necessary. And they're going to do it together. They don't know what they'll find on the islands ahead. Surely, it will surely be fun. All right, and then Solomon can grab the roots underground here. And Cain can grab the grasses, and he's going to. Oh, he's going to find another berry bush. The family definitely will not go hungry as they as they move on. But Adam's not moving along. He knows he's going to die on this island, so he certainly just just stays and solemnly watches. All right, so let's pass the day. I may not make it to eight babies this time, but we'll see, actually. Okay, so little new here is gonna toddle out. Abel's gonna see if he can get this mole. And he can. Nice. And Eve is going to hop on this nest, grab the grasses around her. This is actually day, so this will be her last baby. And Adam also watches his last baby be born on his last day. And so he also solemnly announces David to be the next leader of his siblings and his two older brothers vow to help protect him and the family legacy as they as they
they start moving to new distant lands while happily gathering berries for their food stores. Are they sitting on a molehill or no, they're it's a thing they dug. <laughs> it's hard to remember that. Okay, I'm gonna gather some berries. Solomon I'm gonna gather berries with Lilith. I like to think that Lilith, having seen her little her little sibling being born, little sibling match, they're already inseparable. And so they do all the gathering together. David will take his duty seriously. And help in the gathering efforts. Adam will stay with his mate and use the last of his turns to clear the grasses for his family. And at the end of this day, we're going to see the passing of our first two nichelings and the birth of the last baby. So, with a heavy heart, let's do this. And they left behind a lovely little daughter, Elana, who has the, the home immunity gene as well. And she's a match for Abel, actually, too. So we have two. Uh, so we have two uh, breeding pairs in this little tribe, enough to. Uh, enough to. Uh, keep a healthy tribe and a healthy family as we go on. She's also a match for Nukir, but I think the older animals will have priority in breeding if there's two matches. Okay, but yeah, that's... I didn't make it to eight, but there's seven little siblings, a little tribe of seven. And so after their parents' death, they decide maybe they'll find more opportunities to, uh, in further islands to go on. Kane agrees. He starts to clear away the grasses. Uh, let's see, Solomon. He's gonna go over here and he's gonna grab a couple of roots that he can see. That's very useful. Also, there's a mole back here that I can get. Abel. Eh, he doesn't have any berries left, so he's gonna hop up here and grab that food. And he's gonna hop up here and help crack these nuts while everyone gets ready to go. I think I'm going to wait to gather like a, over a hundred food before I make my way over to these these areas here. Who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and have a wild nicheling pop up. Well, this is gonna prop herself between these two berry bushes. Let's see. Oh my god. I've never named these two yet. Hang on. So let's see. Let's name these two. Also, while I have a moment. I have five boys, two girls. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So let's see, little Nuke here is going to be... Let me pull up my keyboard. He's not a home, a home immunity, a home star immunity carrier, so he'll just have... Hmm. Let's call him... John. Oh, <laughs> Wait a minute, I didn't... That's not the letter I picked. You. J. J. On. There we go. I've also seen in different comics the name John pronounced with the H before the O. I, I don't know if that's a mistake or if that's actually a, a variant of the name. But it's interesting. And. Alana? <laughs> that's funny, Alana. Alana's an actual name. Usually these nicheling names don't come out as normal names. But you know what? I think I'll keep that name. 
She's the first nicheling name not to to come out normal, and I kind of like that. So a little Alana with her carrot-colored stripes and her dark fur. Putting the black fur on Adam was a good uh, choice because <laughs> all of my nichelings ended up with dark fur, and that's better camouflage, I think. That'll help with hunting and uh, avoiding predators. Now, John doesn't have any cracking abilities, so he has to look for things to dig or hunt. I think I'm gonna go over here. And of course the bundles come out of hiding just as I move. <laughs> but that's fine. So there's my little siblings, ready to end the day. Well, let's end the day. So my little nishis grow up and start heading for the... start gathering their food and start heading for the flower portals. And my timer is ticking down, so I think I'm going to end this session here. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying my little adventure. I'm certainly enjoying seeing what happens as we go through it. This game is definitely going to get a bit more exciting as we go on, as we try to survive and keep our family together. So yeah, um, if you enjoy, if you're enjoying this too, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep adventuring. Have a good one. Bye-bye.